How do people monetize copyrighted material on YouTube? A lot of us have been observing a ton of copyrighted material floating on YouTube, having an astronomical number of views, and what's worse is that they are even monetized and growing subscribers every day. We are going to explore everything there is to know about YouTube copyright and how it works. We will also explore YouTube fair use policies and how you can use copyrighted music in your videos and also monetize them. When you upload original content, you are protected by YouTube copyright. YouTube has a copyright takedown policy to protect you. When a YouTube video is re-uploaded, even if it's a small part of another video, YouTube informs the copyright owner. The copyright owner then has an option to submit a copyright infringement notice to the uploader. The uploader can then submit a counter notification or even dispute a content ID claim. If mistaken, the copyright owner has an option to retract a claim of copyright infringement too. Sometimes the footage may fall under fair use. Whether the part of the footage is used in a commercial, non-profit or educational video, the rights still belong to the copyright owner. So what is fair use? There are four pillars to fair use. 1. Transformative. Does the video create new meaning to the copyrighted material? 2. Nature of the copyrighted work. Factual footage is deemed more fair use than fictional footage. Number 3. Amount of substantiality. Typically, small portions of an entire video are more fair use than large or complete portions of a video. But sometimes, the small part can be the heart of the entire video too and might disqualify the whole fair use claim. Number 4. The effects upon potential market. Will using this footage cause a loss to the copyright owner's profits? Now, depending on the copyright owner's policy, some owners prevent certain material from being available or duplicated on YouTube by a YouTube takedown policy. Others allow the video to remain live while directing the advertising revenue to the copyright owner of the content. With the YouTube takedown policy, the copyright owner has the right to blocking a video, muting a video, or blocking the video on certain platforms. When takedown happens, the uploader of the copyrighted material receives a content ID strike. If you receive three copyright strikes, your channel will be terminated. All your videos will be removed. You won't be able to create new accounts. And if your live stream is removed for copyright, your live stream will be suspended for 90 days. The good news is that you can use music from the YouTube library and filter for tracks that can be monetized. You can also find creative comments and stock footage from the YouTube Creator Studio. So that's all there is to know about YouTube copyright. Please subscribe for more YouTube video marketing and content creation.